The add-on we're gonna cover today is a good option, I think, to make your experience with motion graphics much more fun, even though it was mainly built for the theme of sci-fi environments or scenes. Actually, creating particles in Blender is possible and easy to do, but the Particles X add-on will make it even better and easier. This is the case, I believe, because it has more than 15 Particles X presets, such as fireworks, thrust, black hole, and more. This will allow you to have a starting point for your particle system, which you can modify later to give it a personal touch, or allow it to fit to the scene you are creating. After having your particles, you can modify them as you see fit. You can reduce the size using the particle size, increase the number using the count, and change the color using the property color you see on the panel. This add-on has presets and info panels, giving a lot of helpful options for creating static and dynamic particles or particles that emit from the face, the volume, or the vertices. Particles X panel is the main panel of the add-on that helps in the creation process, and it comes with two tabs, the custom tab to create particles, which of course you have to modify to whatever you want, and the preset tab to create a particle effect, which you can choose for a specific object, such as the plexus effect and the tail effect. Particles X also has objects that you can automatically assign as particles, including mirror object, which has a mirror material to reflect light. Also glow object, which is a glowing sphere to make your particles glow. In addition to sphere object to turn your particles into spheres that are colored. And lastly but not least, custom object, which is where your custom collection is gonna be. Also the Particles X settings panel has some additional properties to the ones in the Particles X panel, such as velocity, gravity, source, type, and so on. The add-on actually gives you the option to use only the most used settings such as count, size, randomize, etc. Which I think is gonna be good enough to a certain extent when dealing with certain tasks. In addition to that, the Particles X has some other features including up to 5 particles effects like force fields, easy creation of particles, easy modification, and easy animation, in addition to the ability to convert to keyframe and bake them for the other pieces of software, in addition to other more features that can be potentially added to the add-on. Using presets when dealing with projects that need unlimited possibilities like particles may not be always the best option, as sometimes pre-made things don't allow you to produce the exact result you are looking for, but this add-on can be a time saver and a good option as a starting point. And sometimes you have to create your own particles from scratch, especially if it's gonna be a complicated project. Overall, this can save you a good amount of time and relieve you from the tedious work, especially if you are a beginner or if you are someone who wants to get things done on the fly. If you are interested in the add-on, you can find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.